If you're taking algebra this fall, here's what you need to review. Welcome to Algebra 1 if you're taking it this fall. Don't worry, it's a piece of cake, nothing to fear at all. You work with linear, quadratic, and exponential functions, and so many Here's a 30 second overview of what you can expect. Algebra is the study of math symbols and their rules. We will study all sorts of lines, equations, and their graphs, starting with linear and quadratic exponential polynomial. We'll solve equations in different ways. Inequalities are included too. We'll touch on radicals and absolute. Algebra. I'm going to teach you how to solve a linear equation in just 30 seconds. The balance should uphold no matter what we try. Dismantle the equation in reverse. Rearrange it on both sides. Order of operations in reverse. Let's solve this with pride. If you see a minus sign, you add. And if it's multiply, you divide. The items are not changing, they're simply rearranged. Don't worry, I got you. Here's functions explained in just 17 seconds. A function is the relationship between y and x. x is independent, you can make it what you want. y is your result, it is purely based on x. Each pair of values can be written as x, y. Functions have many forms, they can be curves or lines, but there can only be one x for one y. If the y's for an x is more than one, you do not have a function. Here's how to evaluate a function when you're given an x value. To find a y value when you're given x, plug in your x value wherever you see x. Order then left to right. At the end of it all, you'll get your one. Here's how to graph a function in just 16 seconds. To graph an entire function, create a table of x values. Plug in your x's into the equation to get your y's. Now you have many x, y, press plot them on the coordinate grid. Draw a line connecting them all. Here's how to tell if a function truly is a function in 45 seconds. A function has one output for every value you put in. And to check if you have a function, the vertical line test is your friend. Draw a straight line on the y-axis and count the points on the graph it passes through. If there's only one point, it's past the test, but only at that x value. And you found yourself a function when the vertical line test holds true. At every single place on the graph, if it fails even once a We're going to be teaching you about slope in 30 seconds. Let's start the timer. If you're taking algebra, this song is for you. Here's how to find the slope of a horizontal line. For horizontal, the change in y is zero divided by a certain change in x. Zero over anything is zero, which means the horizontal slope is zero.
If you're taking algebra, this song is for you. Here's how to find the slope of a vertical line. And vertical a change in y exists, but there is no change in x. Anything over zero is undefined. This applies to all vertical lines. Here's an introduction to domain and range in less than a minute. When you look at a function, you see x and you see y. This two-dimensional plane is where we draw the line. What goes in this x and y comes out each time. For each function, it's time to define its x's and y's. Domain and range. Domain and range. Domain is all the x values and range is all the y's. Domain and range. Domain and range. Only values that exist should be in its side. If you're taking algebra, here's how to find the domain and range of a function in just 30 seconds. If any x is undefined, excluded from the domain. If any y is undefined, excluded from the range. Functions like the square root of x can't have a negative x. Some complex functions never reach a certain y. 